What's up, Eagles fans? Welcome into the Film Room presented by Wawa. I'm Fran Duffy, joined by Eagles defensive coordinator Jonathan Gannon to talk through three of the Eagles rookies here on the defensive side of the football. Coach, welcome into the studio. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. All right, well, let's start with uh, first-round pick, the big man in the middle, Jordan Davis, uh, nose tackle for Georgia. Obviously, a really physically imposing presence. What stands out about Jordan on film before we get into some of the Yeah, just a, a big, fast, violent, explosive man, and he's a very versatile player, can play a bunch of spots, and uh, his ability to affect the game. Yeah. Well, we see him here in the run game here. Tell us what you're seeing with him here. Over yeah, the so nose. he's playing a zero nose, so this is a spacing we play, but what you're going to see is as this run comes, he's going to get – a single block by the center, and then this guard's going to come double him, and then the guard's going to come back up to the linebacker. What you see is, is him anchor into the double team, all right? Then when the double team comes off, he rips off the single block and makes the play. So anytime you can do that with a nose tackle where he anchors versus the double, doesn't get moved, rips back in, and finishes on the ball, that's a win for the defense. Michigan was one of the most – ferocious, tough, physical offensive lines in all of college football. That's what painted such a beautiful matchup here in the bowl game. But uh, clearly Jordan, the rest of that front, they were up for that challenge that showed up for early yeah. on in that game. Yeah, Jordan gets he gets excited to play good offenses. All right, well, let's take a look at the next one because obviously everyone knows about Jordan Davis and his value against the run. But in the pass game, that's where we didn't always get a chance to see it. It showed up in flashes here week one against Clemson, a great flash. Yeah, so this one, they're, they got a little stunt going on or a little pressure going on. You see him on the move. And this is what when we saw on tape when we looked at him is, is his ability to move laterally and vertically in a, in a quick second. So this was very impressive by the stunt that they're running. He's up and in, and then he turns the corner and ends up coming back to sack the quarterback. And that's where the, the combine workout does kind of show up, right? That initial quickness, that suddenness off the ball. Yeah, his pro day workout when I went down there, it was when they were doing the drills and things like that. I mean, this guy moves like a 300 pounder. You wouldn't think that he's 340 pounds. So you see him right there. He's on the move, working to his left, goes laterally, then vertically, then retraces back to get a sack on the quarterback right there. And everybody talks about with him the, the pass rush win rate stats and the rush efficiency and the per snap basis things. They weren't, they're not a typical defense in terms of how they utilize their guys up front, right? So what are some of the different things they did with him that wasn't just, hey, get up and go after quarterback? Yeah, so like this, this clip that we're going to see right here, he's really just a contained player. So he's, the, the, the call is not really designed for him to sack the quarterback. He has a responsibility within the call. And it's really trying to free up Nakobe right here. But you're going to see him. This is a hard thing to do for these guys from a three technique or a four eye is where he's looping to contain when he's getting a double team. So he's really eating two blockers here. And really, again, they were, I mean, top 10 in the, in the entire country in Division One in stunts. Uh, they ran a bunch of blitzes. So, again, when they get into first down, second down, third down, they're willing to, you know, create some things for those linebackers. And there's no doubt. He, he does everything that he was asked to do and affects the game in a positive way in the run and pass game. So we're excited to have him. Yeah, and a good introduction to the Eagles' third-round pick. Yeah, uh, there he is here right there. Yeah, so that, that's Nicobe. He can, he can pressure the quarterback a little bit. You see him on the move. He beats the center right there, kind of gets held, keeps finishing, ends up on the quarterback right there. How hard is that to be able to teach guys? Do you feel like uh, bl you know, blitzing ability, is that something that can be taught or guys have a knack it for that? It is. There's a little bit of a knack to it, and then he can improve his game when he gets here. We'll give him some tools that will help him. But there is definitely a knack, and he has it. And what is so impressive about him in the past game is, yeah, great blitzer. He had a bunch of sacks last year. But in coverage, he was able to be moved around. He had a pick six against Florida where he read the route on the hitch, right? Here you see him in the bowl game. Uh, flexed out as well. Yeah, they play in a very multiple system. And that was one of the things that appealed to us about Nakobe is he ran the whole show. So here they're in a man concept, and he's got the back man-to-man. -man. You're going to see this guy jet all the way across the field. They're going to give him a swing pass. Nakobe really covers about 40 yards, makes the tackle behind the line of scrimmage. This is a fantastic play. And really what you're seeing here is his range and processor. He knows what's going on. He just tracks the near hip. That's a good roll tackle right there. A little pretty good celebration. We might have to work on that, <laughs> Eagles fans. Uh, to me, like the the other big thing is the the angle, right? And that's that's yeah. not easy either, right? Yeah, he has a very he's a very intelligent player. Has a high football IQ and knows where he has to get to, and he gets there in a hurry. Well, let's get to uh, uh, one more play here with Nakobe again, uh, where you see him just being able to, to process things quickly. 
the whole, entire defense going one way, and he's able to uh, sniff the, things yeah, out. Yeah, I'm, the I'm other sure way. his coaches had him coached up for this play. This is going to be some type of action and a screen, but his responsibility is the back. So mm -hmm. a lot of times they they window dress this to get his eyes off the back and then get a mismatch with blockers in front of the screen pass. So you see him immediately get on his progression. He splits two blockers and makes the play. Yeah, so you see, I, and that's one of those things where you just have to trust your keys. Is that kind of the coaching uh, point that's there? That's right. Do what you're coached to do, which he does, and then he makes it happen here. Yeah, and defeating these blocks in space, I mean, essentially it's three on, three one. on one. What goes into that? Yeah, he <laughs> want to. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> he knows he can't get blocked because if he does get blocked, this is a touchdown. So excellent play by him. Yeah, I wanted to see it again from the, the sideline angle just to appreciate the fact that, yeah, if he doesn't make this stop, the running backs hitting his head on the goalpost. You see post. how fast the processor is right here, though, with the with the back going away. Just see how fast he triggers. Right now, he knows that's the play, and you yeah. see him shoot it right there. The blockers weren't even ready for him to trigger that fast. And then you get to day three of the draft. Uh, Kyron Johnson, a, a player that I know a lot of people are excited about. Uh, what have you seen from Kyron? Yeah, I mean, when, we, when we watch him on tape, you know, Kyron is very, very explosive. And, you know, the things that he can do rushing – is, is very appealing, so we're going to try to use him in that way. But you see him here, right here. He just, you know, beats the tackle with just speed and explosiveness. And then he has the ability, he has a knack, just like N'Kobe, you know, he has a knack for getting the ball out once he sacks the quarterback, which there's an art to that. And mm -hmm. I know he just turns the corner right there, but you're going to see in a couple clips here where he's, he's punching for that ball, which that's what the game is about, takeaways. How hard is that to coach into guys if they didn't do it all throughout college? Yeah, a little bit. That's just the same thing, you know, like with N'Kobe. You want to – you they have a knack for it, and you want to coach it up a little bit and give them some tools. This is an excellent snap. They're running a little pop game, what we'd call this, a little TE of some sort. But he ends up with a bigger guy on him, a guard, passing it off, but just wins with leverage, explosiveness, quickness, power. And then he ends up turning the corner. You see him turn the corner right there, bending the corner right there. A lot of guys, it takes them a long time to turn their hips and, and run that hoop. And uh, he can do that in a flash. So really excited about what he can bring to the defense. Yeah, he's got a couple different turns there where he's like a, a high-speed race car just kind of yeah. turning the corner. That's yeah. right. I mean, Hassan Reddick, Patrick Johnson, yeah. Kyron Johnson, all these guys, similar kind of body type, similar kind of skill set. That's right. I mean, this, you know, there is – he's as – is uh, flexible and agile as they come. So we're excited about that, Adam. Yeah, you got to be excited about getting on the field with all these young That's guys. Right. What's it like uh, the rest right. of the summer getting ready for uh, training camp? Yeah, we're just finishing out these next couple weeks with practice and OTAs, and then uh, they got a couple weeks off, and we'll be back at it for training camp, ready to go to work. We'll be excited to see these guys in Eagles Green all through the summer and through the fall. Coach Jonathan Gannon, thanks so much for joining us Thank here you. on the Film Room, presented by Wawa.